Hallelujah. It's again a great joy to meet you through this short time of meditation. Uh, I just want us to focus on on a couple of verses from a psalm or maybe two psalms. We live in a world where we are surrounded by constant fears and anxieties. We go through a lot in our lives. I think more than the physical part, I think the mental trauma that we go through, the mental part is actually too much. Uh, sometimes we struggle a lot. We struggle a lot, uh, not just in our decision making, but sometimes even in our day to day activities, sometimes even in our daily life activities. Uh, right from the time we step out of our homes, when we travel through roads, uh, there, there, there is always some kind of pressure. There is always some kind of pressure. It almost seems like, you know, tension is, tension fills the air and we go through some real challenges every day. Sometimes the challenge begins right from our home, right from the moment we step out of our beds. Uh, today, I want to shift your focus to a verse from Psalms chapter 56, Psalms chapter 56 and verse 3, Psalms 56 and verse 3 and this is a Psalm of David. When we look at the introduction of the Psalm it says, a Psalm of David when Philistines seized him in Gath. So when Philistines captured David in their territory at Gath, maybe uh, he went to the Philistine territory because Saul um, was disturbing him here. Uh, uh, Saul kept bothering him that he ran away to a place into the Philistine territory and there the Philistines captured him and now in his own country people are after him and he goes to the enemy land there his enemies have captured him and just think of the situation just think of the situation you know, sometimes we, we flee from one situation to another hoping uh, to escape from the former situation. But even the later situation catches us, catches us up and troubles us up. You know, some people leave home so that they think, you know, if they go to college or office, if they go somewhere else, uh, they will have the peace of mind. They think, you know, that is the best place. Uh, that will be a place of safety and security. But when they go there, even if that place starts to trouble them, just think of the pain, uh, just think of the trauma that they go through. This is this was what David was going through. He fled Israel, he fled Saul, and now he goes to the Philistine territory and that they capture him. At such a time of mental trauma, at such a time when he's completely disturbed in his mind and uh, when he is crying out in pain, he says these beautiful words. Psalm 56 and verse 3, he says like this, But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. Today, we all go through lots of fears. We all go through lots of anxieties. Today, I just want you to think whenever you go through those fearful situations, who do we turn to? Who do we turn to? Do we turn to God? Or do we turn to the person who is trying to disturb us, like a Stockholm Syndrome? Or do we turn to man or do we turn to ourselves, they say, unlock the inner potential, unlock the hidden potential, look into yourself, you are the key to your happiness. Or do we completely shift our focus to God and say, Lord, when I am afraid, I trust in you. When I am afraid, I trust in you. I think that was the secret of success in David's life. You know, when we read another psalm in Psalm chapter 3, Psalm chapter 3, this psalm has another, uh, an, another terrible uh, context to it. The psalm says, a psalm of David when he was fleeing his own son Absalom. When he was running away from his own son Absalom, here is King David penning the psalm. And he starts the psalm like this. Lord, I have so many enemies, many are against me, many try to kill me after saying all this. In verse 5 of Psalm chapter 3, he says this, I lay down and I slept and I woke up in safety for the Lord was watching over me. Yes, enemies are around me. My own son is trying to kill me. My own friends, my former friends have betrayed me. No, they are trying to kill me. They are seeking me down. They are trying to hunt me down. 
but I trust in the Lord and I am afraid because I trust in the Lord in Psalm chapter 3 and verse 5 it says I lay down and I slept yet I woke up in safety for the Lord is watching over me for the Lord is watching over me you know you might go through pain you might go through terrible things but today I want to encourage you I want you to I want to encourage you trust in the Lord at all times even when it seems meaningless, try trusting in God. Because David had some beautiful experiences. I lay down, I slept, I woke up in safety. I lay down, I slept and I woke up. For the Lord was watching over me. The Lord knows everything that you are going through. And I want to tell you, every time you are anxious, every time you are scared, every time something is troubling you, Turn to the Lord. Turn to the Lord. He knows you. He knows you better than you know yourself. But that's something that I always remind myself of. God knows me better than I better than I know myself. And He will watch over us and He will guide us and He will guide us. May these words encourage us and help us to move forward. May God be with us. Amen.